Okay, looking on advice how to handle a child who says they're seeing spirits. A lot of children, most children, are very close to the other side still because they haven't been as socially constructed as us. The magic, the unicorns, that belief is still really pure in them because they don't have society to tell them it's not. And it absolutely is real. This is real for them and validating that is going to be huge for you and your child's growth. This was me as a child. I was seeing spirits really young, four years old, six years old, nine years old, 12 years old. And I would kind of bring it up to my parents and they never knew how to handle it. Um, but I think it's great that you're asking this question. So my advice is to give him the space to keep talking about that. Do not shut it down. Do not say that's fake, that's made up, that's in your head, that's fairy tale. It's very real. He sees different things than you see. He's fresher to earth. Those invisible friends, imaginary friends they talk to are usually spirit guides. Those invisible or imaginary friends they talk about are usually spirit guides or a loved one who passed over. Like if you have a grandma on the other side, that grandma may have helped them with their transformation to earth and they very much still communicate with them. So ask questions, give him space to be who he is, which is a soul having a human experience. I want to normalize this for our children and children to come. I'm nine months pregnant right now. I plan on holding this space for my child as well and teaching them that the spirit realm is not some mystical thing that we can't touch or grab. It's very real. It's very tangible and we can connect with it. That's not like a specialty only one or two people on this planet can do. We all are connected to our spirit guide, spirit team, God, the universe because we are made of it so i would just keep giving him space and stop shutting it down if that's what you're saying like if it's scaring you there's something you need to work on and not project it onto him or her sorry i don't know if you have a boy or girl also you said that it's scaring him that's because he doesn't understand it so if you can help him understand it this would be really good so not like gaslighting him and telling him it's scary and validating that being like oh yes that's that's something that exists we're able to connect with things on the other side but they cannot harm you in the physical, and if you want to talk to them, you can. If you don't want to talk to them, you don't have to. And ask questions. Ask him what he's seeing. Ask, ask him what types of ghosts are seeing. Are they in clothes? Are they just kind of a feeling to them? Um, see what they're kind of seeing or feeling. And a good way to get a spirit to keep moving towards the light, if a spirit is showing themselves in physical form, it's usually because they're very stuck to the earth side still and they need to move on. They need to transition on the other side still. So if your kid is explaining, oh, I see this person and this is the clothes that they're wearing and kind of has like an exact description of it, it's usually a spirit that needs to kind of keep moving towards the light. So you can tell spirits together, okay, let's pray for this spirit to go closer to God and move towards the light. If you don't want it near you, if it feels like it's not a grandmother energy or something like that. Each spirit is different, each situation is different, each kid is different, but this is the best advice I can give.